Hi, I'm Mike McCarthy from Front Office Sports and welcome to another edition of our Shot Callers video series. It is our pleasure to welcome Oris Stewart. He is the Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer for the National Basketball Association. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be here, Mike. Tell us about your job. Um, you know, what do you do every day? What are you striving to accomplish? Well, my job is uh, is different uh, day to day, week to week, and it's uh, it's given me an opportunity, a privilege, really, to work at an incredible organization with some exceptional people. Uh, my job can really be divided into four different areas of, of focus. First. We uh, support all of the activities across the league that are targeted on making sure we have the diversity of our fans and the diversity of our communities reflected inside the organization at all levels league-wide. Okay, and so that involves us identifying new sources for talent, it involves us creating training experiences and learning experiences around how to make sure we have an inclusive recruiting process and an inclusive, inclusive talent management process. Uh, and it also uh, focuses on making sure that we have the, the most inclusive culture that we could possibly have. Uh, the, the other area is, uh, another area is making sure that we have a sense of who our customers and our fans are and really have experiences that allow us to understand them better and build more connections and more intimacy with them. And so we are uh, creating learnings and, uh, and other touch points so that we can understand our fans globally, wherever they engage us. Uh, so it's the second area. Third area is our focus on diversifying our supply chain and, uh, and uh, focusing on economic inclusion and all of our processes of buying goods and services, whether it's for All-Star Weekend or whether it's for uh, any of the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And, uh, and then finally, we are very active in support of the things that our teams are doing in their communities, uh, that they're doing in their uh, HR processes and the things that they're doing uh, to build the most productive and effective cultures uh, that they have as well. And so uh, it's, a, it's a very, it's a job built on a diverse set of activities right. and it's and, and working with an incredible organization, great people. How do you determine, Oren, what the best practices are? Uh, I mean, this must be a, kind of a job where everything's always changing and always morphing into something else. Well, I, I think there are really two sources for identifying best practices around diversity and inclusion. You know, first, you look at those organizations that are doing a good job and that have results that prove it, whether it's business results or whether their, their data shows that they are very inclusive and are being effective at bringing diversity uh, throughout. Uh, you look at those organizations and you look at what they're doing and you, you determine whether some of those practices can be applied uh, here internally, whether exactly as they're doing them or whether they can be adapted. And I think the other source is we, we talk to our people. You know, you ask the people that work here, uh, you ask our, fa our, our fans, you ask our customers, what is it that we can be doing better to serve you, to support you, uh, to make sure that you're having uh, the kind of experience here that allows you to, to fully appreciate what we have to offer. And, uh, and so they'll give you insights as well right. into, into what we can and should be doing better. I've noticed that the league and its teams have made a number of recent hires that reflect diversity. And why do you think uh, that's important for the league and its individual teams? Let me make it very clear. You know, diversity and inclusion make good business sense. Uh, our results are better, our, our game is growing, and our opportunities are more plentiful because of our focus and our commitment to diversity. And so when you refer to some of the people who have been hired recently league-wide, what it really reflects is, one, a recognition that the world's best talent is diverse, and if we're going to get the world's best talent in the organization to help us grow the game, they're going to be diverse. And I think it's, it's nothing more than that. Is that one of the most challenging parts of your job, the competition for talent? Uh, the NBA wants the best sports talent in the world, so does the NFL, so does MLB. Uh, what kind of competition is there? 
Well, we're competing for, for talent not only with the other sports leagues, but you know with uh, some of the world's best run organizations. So it's a great point. Uh, we've got to have a compelling case to come join us, to, to get in the game and to, uh, to help us deliver on our promise. And so, yeah, that is, uh, that is a challenge. Uh, I think we've got a lot to offer. And, and what we're finding out when we talk to candidates that, uh, is that we do. And they're attracted to our culture. They're attracted to the exceptional talent that uh, we have working here. They're, they're attracted to the, the brand and what we're doing uh, to grow the game. They're attracted to our, our engagement and our commitment to the community as well. Uh, and so uh, it, is, it is a challenge. There's a lot of competition and there are a lot of great people. And, uh, and I think you know, we're, we're doing a good job of getting more in our fair share. Have you started any new mentoring programs that you're excited about? Well, we, we have. We have uh, one program in particular that uh, we've rolled out over the, much of the last year. It's a, a many-to-one uh, protege mentoring concept called Coaching Circles. And it, what it really does is it allows us to engage not only our executive leaders, but other leaders and other uh, influential uh, contributors within our organization uh, in a process that touches anyone in the organization that's interested in uh, building new relationships and having a conversation about their career and their ability to contribute uh, in the organization. And, uh, and it really has, uh, has gotten a great, uh, great response. Right. Um, I, I think it's uh, gonna help us retain some of our, our great talent. And, uh, and it's going to help us to one of the earlier uh, questions you asked me, uh, help us understand more of what our people are, are needing for us to do better. I mean, it's a, it's a way for us to give guidance and counsel to uh, some of our employees. It's also a way for us to hear back and learn from them. So this, the thing that I most like about this coaching circle concept is there's reciprocal value in, in how we've approached it. Yeah. You have an incredibly wide-ranging job. You're not only responsible for the NBA, but the WNBA and the G League, and you know every sort of offset of uh, offshoot of the NBA. Do they have different challenges, or are they kind of facing the same common problems? They're same and different. You know, the, uh, the each of the leagues has its own uh, you know kind of unique set up and, and there are different stages of maturity. I mean, the NBA is 73 years old, so it's a very long history. The, uh, the W is, I think, 23. We're in our 23rd season now. Uh, the 2K League is just two years old, and I believe the G League is 18 years old. So, you know, v different stages of maturity, different scale, different needs, but we all share the common need or they all share the common need of needing the best talent in the world. And so that's where the, there's a, a strong similarity and that's where our practices can be focused to really bring the best people uh, in, into our operations. Uh, but beyond that, you know, just given where they are, given the size differences and given the, uh, the different years they've been in existence, there are unique opportunities at each. Yeah, and imagine it's uh, kind of a juggling act. It is, it is, uh, and we want to be of value and service uh, as best we can to, to each of them. And what it's been one of the things that's made uh, this job, the job I have, the job my, my teammates have, so exciting because we get to experience the league in, in just about all of its uh, many, uh, as, uh, uh, many stages and, and you know, many, uh, uh, many places.